Around one in eight people living on the streets in London are under 25, but there's a warning that figure could be much higher because so many are sofa surfing in friends' and relatives' homes and therefore not officially recognised as homeless. So what is it like being young and having nowhere to call home? Well, as a part of ITV's Fixers campaign, where we give young people the chance to make films on subjects that matter to them, two people have been telling us about their experience. My name is Zubaydah Hussain, I'm 19 years old and I'm from central London. And my name is Cairo Angle, I'm 21 years old and I'm also from central London. Our Fixers project is about raising awareness to young adults and teenagers that are homeless and giving them hope. We've both been in really insecure positions in our life where we didn't know where we were going to go next. I left my family home when I was 16. I come from a, a traditional Muslim background and I disagreed with some of the things that my family believed in wearing a headscarf, arranged marriages. For the next two years, I stayed with family relatives. The day I left my family home, I remember I was sitting at a bus stop. It was raining heavily and I was drenched. And I honestly didn't know where I was gonna go next. It's estimated that up to 400,000 people in the UK are currently sofa surfing. Here at City YMCA, we've come across people that have been doing it for years eventually their options tend to run out and then they find themselves on the street. When I was younger, I lost my mother and I lived with family. Being gay did cause some tension. Early this year, I just removed myself from where I was living because it was becoming too much. I stayed at friends, family. It was very hard, it, it knocked my confidence. Having a stable roof over my head is very important to me. I can actually study now. I want to become anything in the fashion industry. With Fixers, we are planning to create a leaflet and poster campaign. If I'd seen the brochure, I'd been like, OK, now I can call them, instead of thinking, who am I going to call? So, Travis, why is hope so important for you? Well, hope's um, like a second chance for life. Since I've lived here, i found a job now. For our campaign, we decided to enlist some of the residents in this very building. When you were at your lowest point, what would have helped you? If there were leaflets, um, it, like at the park or in the pubs where I used to go to, where, where I just didn't want to go home, um, yeah, that would have been very useful. Even doctor surgeries, secondary schools, colleges. Mm -hmm. Hopefully our campaign will make a big difference to all the young adults that are too ashamed to come forward and admit that they are homeless. That low point when I was sitting at a bus stop completely drenched, I never want anyone to have to go through that again. Well, you can get more information about the projects featured by our fixers by going to fixers.org.uk. 29 people.